Sagittarius. Yes. All right. It is your turn for your mid-November to the beginning of December read of this current year. Yay. Sagittarius, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it because it's just a card game, right? You just boop your nose and away it goes. Right? Right. Don't get in your feels. You know. Newcomers, if you want a personal read, all the information is in the description box below after the music listing that I have for my videos where I use background music and such. First reading is on the house. Everything else comes with the price, and I do accept tips and donations. Thank you very kindly in advance. Anyway, Scor uh, like not Scorpio, Sagittarius. Um, you might be a little bit crazy. You might be wanting to stab some folk, too. Uh, mainly because like someone might have snooped and found something that pissed them off, and now they're just letting their imagination go wherever. With the Page of Swords, reverse. The wants and wishes, two of pentacles reverse, you're not sure what your options are, and you wish you knew. Meanwhile, your obstacle and challenge is trying to let go of something you're having a hard time doing so. Uh, fears and rejections, the hermit, going inside to see what, why you're hiding in a gutter, naked, with a dead fish. And talking to it like its name's Wilson. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm, that was crazy. How the shit comes full circle, what goes around comes around, how it'll complete this current cycle. <coughs> <coughs> oh dear. <coughs> that came from nowhere. I swear to God, if I'm getting sick again, I'm going to throw some shit. Uh, sorry, I'm sad rising, so you know. Uh, <laughs> at least it's my shit, so it's not that bad. Anyway, what's the beginning theme, Sag? Try to make things work. Somehow, even though you're not skilled in how to do it, you're still trying to get that shit done. Because, God damn it, Sag, you can. Or at least you're trying to emulate that stable energy of the Earth signs. Could also be Cap, Taurus, Virgo. So let's see, Sagittarius, what's going on with you? Hmm. Mm. Is there someone you wanted and now it's just like, oh, this person is totally not what I wished for. But when you think about it, it's exactly what the fuck you wished for. Is it one of those scenarios? Because it seems like you're really pissed about something. Or really upset in some way. Especially with these two emulating each other extensively, right? Like this Queen of Swords, she's all mad and nettled and shit. Like, she's a control freak. She's got problems. If the King of Swords was out here... Definitely a douchebag. Definitely. Um, and she feels betrayed. For whatever... Why does she feel betrayed? Hold on. Why does she feel betrayed? Uh, what? Because nobody's coming up for looking for a fight? Is that what that is? Like, she was expecting someone to come back with words and nobody did, so now she's all pissed because she has an argument in her. Like, I literally had the perfect argument in my head and you still haven't come over here. Where are you? I need to get on your ass, you know? It's almost like they're trying to do that with you a little bit. Also, cross watch your switcher you need to because I have no idea what the fuck's going on. I also curse in my videos, so if you get offensive, try not to be because it'll hurt you more than it will me. Promise. You got four, but I'll give it to you with this page of swords, right? This person was just not looking for a fight. Like, whoa, 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 uh, You know, I got sticks, right? But, like, I'm not trying to use those sticks. And this person's like, bitch, get over here. You know, and, and like, it's, it's like Sagittarius, whoever this person in red is, I think it, it's kind of like you. You're just kind of like, I really don't want to um, know. And then you run away before this shit gets any crazier. And this person now is just uh, tries to come up to you with some shit, acting like they have a right to treat you nasty. But in reality, it's like, you know, they have a lot to offer you. They just don't have very good people skills or they're really fucking dumb. It's one of the two. You could be dealing with an earth sign. You could be dealing with an air sign. You're probably dealing with somebody who, um... I don't know. Like, if they were a Leo, I'd probably say that they were probably really agitated. 
<laughs> like if they had like fire in their chart, that would make a little bit more sense, but it's like, eh. Like this person acts really gruff, but in the dark it's like they're pretty proud and they're just like, you know what, I love this bitch. And then they offer you something like, you know, like, you forgot your five dollars here. Don't do it again. You know, it's just one of those things where it's just like, what the fuck, bro? Like, do you like me or not? Because I can't tell. If it's an earth sign, I'm sorry we're like that, but that's just how it happens. All right. Two of pentacles. Reverse. Not knowing what to do, really. You're kind of confused. Fate has not been that kind to you. You know, and you're trying to get shit done. Work on things, all right? Then we got the eight of cups in the fears and rejections. It's reversed. Someone's trying to get away. Possibly dude in red, right? And it's like, it's hard to do. It's like they're looking. Like, it's like they looked for shit for a reason to walk away, but now they can't. Which is weird. You know, there's a lot of investment going on, either business wise, money, uh, like home wise, or some shit like that. And it's been a long fucking road. And if it hadn't been for this road, you wouldn't have gotten two dogs that are standing by your side just being like, hello, how are you doing, sirs? You know, it's just like, oh man, I got two dogs. But it's like, fuck. It's like this person gave you a gift of something or helped you obtain something, which was very valuable, I will say. But it fucked you up on your journey. It's like, man, if this person hadn't done this shit, you know, I wouldn't be in the position where I am now. And I understand that everything in the universe happens for a reason. But what the literal fuck, man? Did the, like, did I really have to go ragged in order to sort all this stuff out? We're about to find out with the hermit up in the fears and rejections. Let's see. Yeah, someone needs to look inside and just be like, you know what? Like, this shit was doomed from the start. I don't know how. I don't know why. But it is. And they're looking over here like, do I really want to go back? Or do I want to go, like, just hang out where fire and stuff is? Because that seems like it's a lot more safe. Right? Right. Down below, with this wish that came with a lot of baggage or garbage, no matter how you look at it. It's just shit that you didn't expect to come with it. Like, the wish was fulfilled, but you weren't expecting all the extra stuff. Like, someone having the fucking, like, an, it, it, superiority complex over everything that's theirs. And them not really being as emotional as I think that you are. I feel like you feel like they're trying to control you. And they don't have any love for you. And the ending theme is, yeah, it's like... Who dat? Like, who dat knocking on my door? Kapow! Just shoot you right in the door. Like, not even giving a fuck who it is. It's just like, you shouldn't have came knocking on my door unless, like, you know, you called me to let me know you were coming up, you know? Like, one of those things where it's just like, someone makes an excuse for why, um... They're acting the way they do, I reckon. Ah! You come back here. There you go. Okay. Clarifying... Up with the uh, energy right here. Someone just doesn't want to lay their swords with this crazy lady. At all. It's just like, nah, that's cool, man. I'm just going to cut off this third party and go my own way. Because um, you're fucking insane. And I'm not having this shit. Right? And down below, with this page of swords, it's like... Someone isn't letting someone take a nap. Someone isn't letting someone la uh, rest. It's just like, I got you a flower. I have allergies that are killing me right now. Here, sniff it. You just stick it in your nose while you're trying to recover and make you cough and gag and shit, right? And that's what's causing you to be like, there's no footing in this relationship that's going to make me happy enough to think that, like, this is going to work out. I am completely fucking angry at this point, right? Ugh. Wants and wishes. Someone needs to either embrace your dark side or embrace a fucking animal. A beast, if you will. No. Engage in that shit before it, you know, takes you over and make you feel like you're at a loss with everything. Like, you can't feel complete without this, right? You know, if you embrace, if you, well, not even, like, train, just domesticate your um, dark side or your essence, right? That could be rather helpful, if you will, you know? At least it'll help gauge things a little better. All right. Obstacles and challenges. I feel like you do want to put some work and effort in with this king of pentacles, but you're kind of looking at the statue like, mm, you got a lot more than me, and he's too busy playing with this fucking buffalo. You know, he's just like, you're a good buffalo. Yes, you are. Oh, Bill, look at ya. Oh, are you purring? You're purring. Yes, you are. 
you know, he, he's like too engulfed in his own like pet projects to really notice like all the work he did. I feel like Sag. Fears and rejection. Yeah, someone just can't let some shit go. It's it's just like I keep pouring this cup out and more water just keeps coming the fuck out. Like what the hell? It's like the gods gave you advice and you and like somebody ignored it, you know. Because they already made bad choices before they feel like, or they feel like the options that they had taken before led them to this particular situation that they no longer find favorable in, right? I'm dropping one more. You might have to walk away from that shit, Sag, and I think that's what you're ultimately afraid of. I think that you're connected to somebody who you really care about. But you're kind of mad, too, because you feel like you wasted time with them. Like, it's like they didn't show you what they needed to see. Which, mind you, fire signs, you're pretty emotional. And if you're dealing with an air or an earth sign, like, good luck with that. Because, like, those are the least emotional fucking characters you will ever meet in the Zodiac. <laughs> earth and air, right? Like, it, well, it's not like they don't have emotions. It's just, it's easier not to show them. And plus, they, they're, they're, they're not objective, kind of. They're more, like, subjective. But whatever. Uh, final catalyst, how this shit will come full circle this cycle. You might have to be gentle with the motherfucker in order to keep both of y'all happy. Like, you know, this person kind of depends on you a little bit. Kind of like this lizard depends on this king of wands to take care of him. Just looking at him all proud, like, daddy. And it's just like, God damn it, I got to be really nice to this person because they're fucking pussy and they're sensitive. And I know this, but I don't think they do. And that's just pissing me off because it's just like, just tell me what you want. You know, like you're, <laughs> you're kind of at that point with it. And it's just like, Jesus Christ. Uh, you're driving me nuts. Like, sometimes I feel like a nut. Right now, it's 24-7. 7-Eleven, seven. stay up all night. 24 hours a day. Okay. Anyway, Sagittarius, that's your read for the cycle. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe if that's what you want to do. No pressure, of course. But it's all up to you, really. I just greatly appreciate it. But I love your faces, and I'll see you later. Bye-byes.